Good morning children. In today's class we are going to learn about elasticity of demand problems. Elasticity of a function y equals to f of x we denote as eta and it is x by y dy by dx. x by y dy by dx. When I want elasticity of supply, it is in terms of price and quantity P by X DX by DP. Elasticity of supply is P by X DX by DP. Elasticity of demand, the same idea but now it is negative. Minus P by X DX by DP. If modulus of eta is greater than 1, we term demand or supply is elastic. If it is equals to 1, we will say it is unit elastic. And mod eta is below 1, we term it as inelastic. Let us proceed into exercise problems. Given the demand function, say p equals 10, e power minus x by 2. Let us find out. Given p, I can find out only dp by dx by differentiating with respect to x. 10 as it is, e power minus x by 2 is e power minus x by 2 into hide e and power x. What is remaining? Minus 1 by 2. As I simplify, it is minus 5 e power minus x by 2. To substitute in this formula, eta d, elasticity of demand, minus p, what is p actually given? 10 e power minus x by 2 divided by x. What is dx by dp? I know dp by dx answer. So what is dx by dp? Just reciprocate. Minus 1 by 5 e power minus x by 2. Substituting here. Minus 1 by 5 e power minus x by 2. Cancelling minus symbol e power I am left with 10 by 5 that is 2 denominator there is x. So elasticity of demand is 2 by x and that is the answer. Fifth question for subdivision if the demand law is given by p equals a minus bx the whole square. Find the elasticity of demand in terms of x and find the x when the elasticity is unity. As we know the formula, eta d is minus p by x dx by dp. What is p given in the question? a minus bx the whole square. I can differentiate p with respect to x. That is dp by dx equals to a minus bx the whole square. Remember x square formula, it is 2x. So, a minus bx the whole square is 2 into a minus bx. Hide square. What is inside the bracket? a becomes 0 minus bx becomes minus b. So, my answer is dx by dp I need to substitute. Reciprocate minus 1 by 2b a minus bx. As I try to find eta d minus p by x, p is a minus bx the whole square by x is x only. What is dx by dp from here? Minus 1 by 2b a minus bx. Cancelling a minus bx and square, I am left with eta d minus into minus plus 1 by 2bx in the numerator a minus bx whole power 1 is left out. So this is elasticity of demand. The second subdivision given eta d equals 1 find what is x. 
as I substitute a minus bx by 2bx equal to 1 cross multiplying a minus bx equals to 2bx or bringing bx to the other side a equals 2bx plus bx 3bx equals to a x is equal to a by 3b my question is find x when eta d is 1 eta d 1 implies x is equal to a by 3b second subdivision a minus bx square given p equals a minus bx square Differentiate P with respect to X. A constant becomes 0 minus B into X square. When I differentiate it is 2X or minus 2BX. DP by DX is minus 2BX. DX by DP is reciprocating minus 1 by 2BX. Substituting in eta D formula minus P. What is P? A minus BX square by X. What is DX by DP? Minus 1 by 2BX. Minus into minus plus. We get A minus BX square by 2BX square. When eta D is 1, make it equal to 1 a minus b x square by 2 b x square is 1 cross multiplying a minus b x square equals 2 b x square bringing b x square to the other side 2 b x square plus b x square equals to a 3 b x square is a or x square is a by 3 b x is equal to root of a by 3b. Is it positive or negative? Definitely x is output. So it needs to be positive only and that is the answer. When eta d equals 1 x is equal to root of a by 3b. Sixth question, find elasticity of supply for x is equal to 2p square plus 5. Usually p will be given in the question here. Directly x is given and we need to find at p equals 3. Given x is equal to 2p square plus 5, find out what is dx by dp. 2 into, I differentiate with respect to p x square becomes 2x same pattern p square becomes 2p 5 being constant will become 0 we get 4p the question is to find elasticity of supply what is eta yes p by x dx by dp the question is in terms of p keep p as it is what is x 2p square plus 5 into what is dx by dp it is 4p as i multiply 4p square by 2p square plus 5 so eta s equals 4p square by 2p square plus 5 the question is when p equals to 3 eta s is 4 into 3 square by 2 into 3 square plus 5 4 into 9 by 2 into 9 plus 5 or it is 36 by 18 plus 5, 23 and that is the answer. Question number 8, the supply function x is equal to a root of p minus b. p is the unit price, a, b are constants with p greater than b. Why this is given? Then only the square root whatever is inside will be positive. We cannot have a negative quantity inside the square root. The question is simple. Find the elasticity of supply at P equals to B. Given X, differentiate X with respect to P. I get DX by DP equals 
A is a constant, so keep it as coefficient. What is root x formula? 1 by 2 root x. So, root of p minus b is 1 by 2 root of p minus b. There is no number near p, so that is the answer. Let us substitute. What is eta? Yes. p by x. What is x? A root of p minus b. dx by dp. As I get a by 2 root of p minus b. As we multiply, a and a cancels, p by 2 into root p minus b, root p minus b, root into root, root cancels, giving us p minus b. My question is, at p equals to b, Eta S is equal to 2B. Wherever P comes, put 2B. By 2 into 2B minus B. 2 and 2 cancels. B by 2B minus B is B. B by B gives us 1. So, when P equals twice B, Eta S is equal to 1 and that is the answer. Question number 11 for the demand function x is equal to 25 by p power 4. Find eta d. We know elasticity of demand is minus p by x dx by dp. What is x given? 25 by p power 4. Take it to the numerator p power minus 4. Let us differentiate x with respect to p. x will become dx by dp, 25 as it is, p power minus 4, remember this formula, x power n derivative, n x power n minus 1, p power minus 4, n is minus 4, in the place of x I have p, so minus 4, p power minus 4 minus 1, that is 25 into minus 4 minus 100, p power minus 5 or minus 100 by p power 5. So, we have found out what is dx by dp. Let us substitute in elasticity of demand. Minus p by x. What is x actually? 25 by p power 4 into dx by dp minus 100 by p power 5. Reciprocating, eta d equals minus into minus plus p, p power 4 by 25 into 100 by p power 5. p power 1, p power 4, together it is p power 5. 25 I can cancel 4 times divided by p power 5. Cancelling p power 5. Elasticity of demand is 4 and that is the answer. Question number 15. Find price elasticity of demand for x is equal to 10 minus p. Where x is the demand, p is the price. Examine whether demand is elastic, inelastic or unit elastic at p equals 6. Let us remember the formula. Eta. The modulus is below 1, inelastic, above 1, elastic, equal to 1, unit elastic. So, to declare this answer, I need to find what is eta. What is eta d minus p by x dx by dp? What is x given in the question 10 minus p? Differentiating x with respect to p, I will write dx by dp. 10 is a constant which becomes 0. P will become 1. My answer is simply minus 1. Put it back in eta d. Eta d is minus P by. What is x given? 10 minus P. What is dx by dp? Minus 1. Minus into minus plus P by 10 minus P. Once I know eta d, that is p by 10 minus p. Let us find out at p equals 6. 
eta d equals 6 by 10 minus 6. That is 6 by 4, which is 3 by 2, that is greater than 1. So, I will declare the given function is elastic. So, the question is demand. So, the demand is elastic at P equals 6. Question number 10. For the demand function P equals 550 minus 3x minus 6x squared. Where x is the quantity and p is the unit price. Show that marginal revenue is p into 1 minus 1 by eta d. To show this result, we need to calculate what is EMR and what is eta d. First, let us find out r. What is r p x? Multiply by x, 550x minus 3x square minus 6x cube. To find out MR, it is differential of R with respect to X. As I differentiate R with respect to X, 550 into X becomes 1, minus 3 into X squared becomes 2X, minus 6 into X cube becomes 3X squared. MR equals 550 minus 6X, Minus 18x square. Once I know MR, call it as number 1. We need to find out this right hand side result for which I should know what is eta d. Eta d is minus p by x dx by dp. Given p equals 550 minus 3x minus 6x square. Let us calculate dp by dx. Remember, left in the numerator, right in the denominator. 550 becomes 0. 3 into x becomes 1. Minus 6 into x square becomes 2x. Or dp by dx equals minus 3 is common into 1 plus 4x. This is dp by dx. To apply in the RHS, P into 1 minus 1 by eta D. That is, P into 1 minus 1 by, what is eta D? Minus P by X, DX by DP. Or I will say, P into 1, minus and minus becomes plus, reciprocating X by P, DX by DP, reciprocating DP by DX. It is P into 1 plus X as it is. One DP by DX minus 3 into 1 plus 4X. As we take LCM, it is P cross multiply P minus 3X into 1 plus 4X. P and P will get cancelled. Giving us the answer, P value 550 minus 3x minus 6x square. Minus 3x into 1 minus 3x minus into plus minus 12x square. Or as I simplify, 550 minus 3x minus 3x minus 6x minus 6x square minus 12x square is minus 18x square. Call this as number 2. Now LHS we have marked 1. RHS we have marked 2. As I compare 1 and 2. I will get. MR equals P into 1 minus 1 by eta D. And hence the problem.